a Derek and Somerset, New Jersey. This is the Trap Smart system where we have uh, just catching whatever random animal they 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 had a specific animal they want to catch. But I've been catching all types on this property until we t catch a target one. So this is good that that we can just put these traps out anywhere on the property and then uh, not really worry about checking them every day because the more traps we put out then we have to worry about all the placements and if they if they triggered sometimes they'll go off by accident and it's very valuable to have traps that are set on the property very valuable because every time something happens our trap is not set and it's just closed you know that's an opportunity to uh, solve a problem and uh, the way to remedy that is to check the traps every day, but sometimes, you, and then, you know, you, you check the trap at the wrong time, and say you checked it at noon, and you end up catching it at 2, 2 o'clock, and then, you, you know, you don't check it again until, like, the next morning, and that's if you're diligent enough to check them every day. But this, this gives us the opportunity to uh, leave these traps here and check them every two or three days. Uh, the reason why we would still come back is in case there there is a defect in the signal or something happened that we want to check. Maybe there needs to be a uh, there needs to be uh, an adjustment in the uh, setting. And if we catch, we know right away. We usually get a sometimes a lot of times we'll get a customer call from a customer right away when we catch something. They're all excited. It's usually first thing in the morning. But we already know. We already know we caught something, so that's pretty cool. Like, we're already on call in the area, so we respond pretty quickly. So that's, that's our signal transmitter. And then we put the brain of the operation somewhere out in the open where it can talk to the uh, satellite. So that's our uh, transmitter right there. And these, uh, these sensors speak to that transmitter, and it goes, goes out. And we get contacted by email or cell phone. And these transmitters will contact us every two hours. It won't just be one time or we might miss it. It depends on the, how the email systems work. Sometimes there's a delay or maybe something with the satellite doesn't uh, connect. So, but it'll keep pinging like every two hours. So we'll get notified. And it also encourages us to come get these suckers. Okay, it's like a reminder. Usually these happen around between five o'clock and midnight. We'll get a catch, and this is great when we put the traps on the rooftop where we can't easily access them, even visually. Put them out, and you can't even really visually see the trap. That's dangerous. You know, you catch something on the roof, the trap got triggered by birds or whatever, and you can't really see what happened. So, um, this enables us to very, very uh, a you know, very versatile system. I mean, we're getting better and better because the way they tell you to put the trap on the actual, tie it to the actual mechanism. But we've, with the Velcro, but we've noticed that it, it, it messes with the, uh, it messes with the movement of the trap and the balancing of the trap. And then sometimes when it's hook, hook latched in, it could affect the, the, the way the door closes. So we're getting better and better at, at, at how we're doing this. It's more getting more customized, more scripted, and it's easy to move things around. And uh, a trap breaks, we can easily uh, change traps, use smaller traps, any kind of traps, and not have to worry about disassembling the uh, sensor attachment. It's like more of a universal setup. So it's, we have different kinds of traps. You can hook these up to rat traps if you're trying to get rat traps can do that too. The only reason why we'd use a sensor on a rat trap, it's already dead. But if we're doing it in a crawl space or something, it would be nice to know what we caught something. Or in the attic. A lot of times it's hard to get a signal to ping through the attic. But, uh, it's pretty tight here. The wind, yeah, it's pretty, there's some good play here. I'm going to finish up with this. And then go to our next stop. Derek with the Luminex, right here in Somerset, New Jersey. Doing this. This is uh, Groundhogs. Oh, 
we end up catching skunks and possum. Yeah, but we're not charging per animal, we're charging for the job, so. Which is a, a, a two week period, so we charge for two weeks, put two, three traps. That's plenty. And that'll do its job. We end up catching cats. <laughs> we end up catching all kinds of stuff, but at least it gives an idea what the heck's going on. We can give these guys a ride to a different different area and release them. Hopefully they won't come back. Or if they do come back, it gives us a good time to, to do whatever, uh, whatever uh, exclusion methods from getting under the deck gives us some time to get that fixed. All the animals, uh, if they do find their way back, if they do belong in this area because they have a uh, family, they'll find their way back. But uh, it gives us time at, at least four days, five days uh, to do the repair, and likely they'll stay out. Derek with the Luminex, thank you for watching. Give us a call if you want a free inspection or evaluation. Give you pricing. It's pretty, pretty much uh, one size fits all. And then we can make adjustments, depends on uh, how fast we can get, get the results. Thank you.